Welcome back to another episode of Van Life here in Norway. In our last video, you would have seen us reach the ultimate destination on our bucket list, the Lofoten Islands. We have been convoying with our great friends Katie and Phil for the past few days and it's been a real adventure so far. This place is quickly becoming our favourite van life destination and you're about to find out why. Guys, I do not think we could have asked for a better morning here. We are right down at the end of Lofoten now and it is just so, so beautiful. Last night we had one of the best northern light displays we had ever seen. Unfortunately, we were by loads of like dead hanging cod because we were right by a like fish factory. But that smell of fish now is going to always remind us of the beautiful northern lights that we saw. We've just come over two sort of bridges which looked epic. Literally blown away. Like the places we've been have been gorgeous, but this is just topping it by an absolute country mile. Here's the gang just getting their famous photos. Living their best life. Woo! Morning. <laughs> what a backdrop. Guys, this is a reason we are pulling over all of the time. Just look how spectacular these views are. Honestly, I was just saying to Sam, this is like pinch me moments. On a day like today, with the snow-capped mountains, the beautiful sea in front, it's just gorgeous. Stunning. This is it, we're off. Me, Phil and Katie are off for a hike. It's gonna be about an hour and a half apparently. I don't know if that's up and back or if it's just an hour and a half it's up. It's just an hour and a half straight up. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> well, we've been into a shop. The woman said it's quite treacherous at the top. So these guys have got their cleats on already. Bang, bang. I've got mine in a bag. I was gonna put them on a bit later on. I have got a coat in the bag as well, so I don't get too cold. But first, we're gonna actually try and find the hike and we'll go from there. Just to give you guys a bit of a backfill, we are actually in a place called Rain at the moment. We're gonna do this hike, go back to the van, have some lunch, and then we're gonna head down to a place called, it says A, but I think it's actually pronounced O. I don't know why, but that's what, I think that's what the Welsh bloke said that I met. I'm out of breath already, and we're done like 10 minutes in. <laughs> On the road. On the road, yeah. <laughs> so here's a walk, we're gonna start here. We're gonna go along this red trail, right along the top, and 484 meters and that's the name of the walk 1978 steps <laughs> feel the burn i'm gonna count them down what, what was the number <laughs> one nine seven eight done because we're not even up there yet and we've already picked up our first injury <laughs> look at that ouchies not good <laughs> not great so there are thorn bushes stay away from them they're right behind you actually or just open your eyes. <laughs> or open your eyes. Just open your eyes. And you no, keep your gloves on. Is That's the... it, keep gloves on. Open so we're door. actually going up there. That is the goal. Right now we're just kitting up, putting our cleats on because the ice has started. We've just watched them people up there nearly fall over. So let's go. Here we go. If you just sit there, you can put them on yourself really easy. I'd love it if you did. <laughs> Oh, it actually feels a lot better, don't it? So we actually have a warning that says don't do it, but we've got our cleats on. We're feeling good. Let's 
got really treacherous now. It's so slippery. The family in front of us who are really struggling because they don't even have the cleats, but this is actually that icy and slippery. The cleats aren't doing too much, so you're having to get a real like foot in to make it up these steps. <laughs> this is going to be like crossing the equator line. We're going from the dark to the light and the snow is going to be melted. It's going to be a clear run up from here. That's what we're hoping. And there it is. There's the sunshine. Woo! We're not at the top yet. I'd say we're about halfway. It gets real steep. But sun's shining on us. We've derobed a lot. Woo! As you can see from the ski crew. Yeah. Oh baby. Proud of these guys, killing it. Woo! And there is an example of a bit of climbing oh. on all fours in a minute. Gotta get from here over to those steps. And watching the people come down. It looks pretty precarious. I can see why they've advised people not to do it. And I'm not gonna lie, because it's so steep. Sam, you wouldn't have enjoyed this at all. Not even one little bit. So maybe you weren't meant to come for a reason. We've just reached that moment, guys, where it is gonna be all snow from here up. We can see the people in front of us going up, basically hands and feet, using whatever you can to hold on and climb your way up to the last bit. It's gonna be one hell of a viewpoint up there though. So it's gonna be so, so worth it. It's pretty good from here. But up there, it's gonna be next level. Are you happy to give it a go? I can't decide what, is that guy coming down? I think he's coming down, isn't he? Yeah, he's coming down backwards. Oh That's the way to do it. This way we wanna just make sure every step is right. You got it, mate. Guys. This climb is savage. <sighs> Proper having to dig your legs in, dig your feet in. And it's like steep. Proper, proper steep. Kate and Phil are coming up. I took a different road. I went off right, come up around the corner. One experience. Crazy. Looking down is a bit scary. That's it, isn't it? Go on, team, you've got this. I need it there. I'd love to keep Steps. Should have gone that way. I know. You live and learn. Two more oh, steps. Come on. Two more. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> that sun in the background. <sighs> Guys, we haven't made it to the top yet, but we've made it pretty close. We've just got to get up there. That is the final push. Just getting some snaps because look at this view. Oh my days. Literally views for days. It's mad. The climb is always worth it once you get to the top. It's a bit like anything in life. If it's hard and you achieve it, oh boy, it's worth it. See you guys at the top. Well, at least on top of this mountain in Lofoten. But what a hike it has been. Some steps, some fucking ice climbing. Literally everything was chucked at us, but we made it all the way to the top. Just enjoyed a nice sandwich. If you can see any crumbs around my mouth. Guys there, just finishing off their sandwich. 
and then we're going to make our way down because we've left it pretty late the sun is slowly setting and we don't want to be in the dark too much but look you've got the views out here the rest of the photon you've got the mainland over there honestly incredible We've come down now, we're walking back along the path and we are met with some insane colours. The pink, the yellowy tinge onto those mountains. It's just insane. It's just like uh, Katie's top actually. It Perfect, is. exactly the same. It's like blending in. Shameless promo. <laughs> Beautiful. And we're back in the van. Oh guys, what an adventure that was. That was mad. Fletcher's pleased to see me. Sam's been getting on with a spag bowl. I thought these guys would be really hungry, so I cooked up a storm. Oh, I'm so excited for this dinner. She is an absolute angel. There's a reason I love this woman so, so much. And it's not just because of her food, but it is a big factor. It helps. It does help massively. But yeah, great hike, really enjoyed it. Good to spend some time with Katie and Phil. But boy, I'm glad to be back down, nice and safe. I went down most of that snow on my bum, which was quite funny. So did Katie, Phil managed to stay on his feet quite a bit, so that was decent. But yeah, just warming through the spag bowl now. We're gonna enjoy a nice dinner and our last evening with these guys. They're off, they're shooting, heading off back up to Tromso tomorrow. And we're gonna get the ferry back to the mainland. So yeah. We're going to enjoy a nice evening, some company, have a couple of drinks, enjoy some Monopoly deal, and chill. We've officially made it to the very end of the Lofoten Islands. We're just about to go and explore the final destination. I think it's actually called O, isn't it? But it's spelled A. Um, and Katie just said it's the world's got the world's shortest name for a place. Shortest oh, place it? name. Yeah. Ah. Can't get shorter than A, A O. When you try and research this place and you just type in A, it's just like impossible. Yeah. Because it just doesn't come up. You but yeah. Do We're going to go and explore, take some photos, and then it's going to be time to say goodbye to these guys, which we're not quite ready to do yet. It's been amazing. This sign here is just saying how between the, this island, the end of the Lofoten, and another island called Moskensoya, in between that, it is one of the strongest currents in the world. Loads of boats have sunk there. And there's actually been three famous authors who have written about it being so bad. It's really, really cool, actually. That team. This is it. We've reached the end of the Lofoten Islands. Made it. Made it here. This is the very <laughs> the tip. This is the hell. end of the jetty. One word to describe the, Lof the Lofoten Islands. Epic. Yeah, epic is the word. Yeah. Magnificent. Magnificent. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Guys.
What have you thought of van life in Loved Norway? It. It's Loved been it. absolutely incredible. I'm so surprised how well we've adapted, me in particular. But Blessed I loved it. and grateful. <laughs> Blessed and grateful. And what would your advice be to people who are thinking about trying van life? Just try it. Get yourself organised. Don't pack as much as I did. Yeah, don't <laughs> <laughs> And come to Norway, probably. It's like yeah, set up come beautifully here. for it. And the scenery yeah. is in Incredible. So worth Impeccable. it. Impeccable. Final question, when do you get in your van? <laughs> for you. Yes. I'll, be, I'll be checking on the Facebook marketplace on the way back. <laughs> so any of the subscribers who have got a van, <laughs> these guys are looking for one, all right? So <laughs> hit them up. Let's get them on the road. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Yeah. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye. Till the next time. Till FaceTime you tonight, all right? <laughs> Make sure you've made it. See you in a bit. Back to the travel duo. Back to just us. Oh, I'm going to miss them. Yeah, I'm going to miss them too. It was so lush. I'm exhausted because it's always go, go, go when you've got other people here and they've only got such a short amount of time. So I am absolutely chin strapped. We've been getting up early every morning, late nights, but so worth it loved having them here we are literally just parked up at the ferry port now we are the second van in the queue but we have just had two more motorhomes pull up bearing in mind the ferry isn't for another three hours yet i am a little bit nervous because we haven't pre-booked anything we looked online and it says you can't pre-book anything anymore you just have to get it there so i'm just hoping that they've got space and all these people haven't just booked <laughs> otherwise we could people. we could just be sat here and uh refuse to get on but we're here now it's three hours to the ferry we've got lots of bits and pieces to catch up on now that kate and phil have left and we're just gonna chill out i'm just i've just made us some nachos, nachos. and fingers crossed we get on that ferry oh baby we got nachos night nachos nice little healthy snack for a minute they look great they do look buzzing don't they? the ferry has arrived and all of the prepaid lanes are going on now i just can't see how they're going to fit all these people because there's about four lanes of people that haven't prepaid so yeah i will be fine look all the walkers going on look let's see if we're going to get on this is a three and a half hour journey back to the mainland of norway i can't believe how long it's going to be sadly here in norway they don't have mega dog friendly ferries so the only way a dog can go on there is if it stays in the vehicle or goes in a kennel um, in a specific part of the ship Fletcher would not be fine in a kennel. He would much rather snuggle up in the van. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to leave him in the van for three and a half hours, but Chris has taken him out for his final wee and he'll be absolutely fine. There's so many foot passengers that I don't even think there's gonna be enough seats. our seats on the boat just setting our little laptop station up now should be able to graph out and get some work done get the youtube uploaded we Fletch. actually made it on there's so much space on these ferries yeah there's loads i think we're only like what 15th car on they must take 100 cars easy um but yeah lovely big ferry loads of space i haven't been for a walk around yet so i'll show you guys that in a bit but yeah we're just going to chill here get a little bit of work done found some nice comfy seats and there's even an electric plug for the laptops which is a bonus I'm have a nap. Yeah, you have a lap. Fletchy is soundo in the front of the van. We just give him a dentist stick and he's nice and happy. It's going to be a long three and a half hours without him, though. It's going to be like the longest crossing he's done without us. Yeah. But, like Sam said, there's no way he would have gone in a cage. So, it's better down there, bud. You'll be okay.
So we've made it to our park up for the night. Lofoten has been incredible. Such amazing memories made. Here, babe, let's close this out. I'm not ready for the Lofoten trip to be over because that was probably one of the best places I've ever been in my life. I was the, I, I would say the best. Yeah. Like, That's topped everything we've ever done. Like we love Scotland. Yeah. If you know what Scotland's like, Norway, what we've seen of so far is just Scotland on steroids. Yeah. And it was truly, truly stunning. So many happy memories made, wasn't it? I feel like the bar's been set so high now for Norway. Yeah. Uh, we've got such a long drive down south now. We're literally just driving from the very northern part of Norway all the way to the bottom. When we got and... that ferry over, I was just looking at the map and I was like, babe, I honestly thought we were coming in to like halfway down the country, but no. We're still like probably four, how do you say it, four fifths of the way up. Yeah. We've probably still got a good 80% of Norway. That's it, <laughs> yeah. The percentage, yeah. It's mad. So, emoji this week. I think we should go for the sunshine emoji because we've had the most stunning yes. few days like the, at the end part of our trip with our friends. Oh, we so. had gorgeous weather, didn't we? Yeah. Lush blue skies, and that's when we obviously saw the aurora at night time. So, yeah, stick the sunshine emoji if you've watched it this far. And we're very sad that our friends Katie and Phil have left us. We absolutely love their company and we hope you enjoyed watching them too. If you're watching, we love you so much. Yes, we miss appreciate you. you guys. But guys, Norway has still only just begun. We'll see you next week. See ya!